Hi everyone, this is Becky from Becca's Paper Posies. I wanted to show you how I made this little mini junk journal using the Mary Inglebright's uh, calendars. You know, the day-to-day -day calendars. I saved some of my favorite ones. And this book is just all about home. So she had a bunch of great little cartoons, so I decided to use them for this book. And I also bound the book with ponytail hair ties. I'll show you how I did that as well. So here you go. This is a punch that I made using a circle punch. I will be doing a tutorial on how I made that. It's super easy. And then I've got some stickers, Mary Inglebert stickers that I had for quite a while, maybe like even 10 years and I've never used them. So I thought that a little book would be fun to make. So here you go. Here's some of those calendar inserts that I was telling you about. I just cut the border around them and just added a little uh, circle punch, folded it in half and some string to make it into a tag. So I'll put those aside, just a little doily with some more flower punches. I prepared a bunch of this stuff in advance. That's how I like to make my junk journals. I will prepare all the supplies that I need in advance and then when it's time to put them together, it's super easy. But over here you could see the rubber band tie. And here is the sticker. More tags, again, made from the calendar. And then this one I just put down with a piece of washi on the sides. It's another calendar insert. But I decorated each one. I copy. I made little pockets on each end. Here is one. Again, more about home. Home is where you hang your hat. These are all just little fun home things. And then I wanted this to kind of look like a little living room setting. So I kind of set everything up that way with a yellow polka dot background, like a maybe like a wallpaper and a TV, a clock. Again, this was all part of a sticker collection that I used to make this little layout. So you can kind of see here, if you notice the little rubber band ties, I'll show you towards the end on how I did that. More tags, again, all about home. This one's made with, it's just got a staple fabric on. More stickers. Another pocket up here so for more tags. This one I just didn't do anything with. I just kind of cut it out and put it in there. Triangle pocket. This one's got a triangle pocket too. This one as well. More uh, Mary Inglebright uh, flowers and a button flower. So another tag. Another sticker and some more flowers. Then I just kind of made this as a flip. This one's glued down, but I thought that would be kind of like a little fun, different thing. More tags. So you could see I have quite the collection. I have way more. Here is another one. This one is just about enjoying what you're doing. Again, decorated with more flowers. And then I decorated the final back page. So how I, I joined them together is each one of these is a separate section, as you could see. And so I, I put them together and then I put a rubber band around them to hold it all together. Here's another section. So this is one, this is one. Here's another one. And then I just bound them all together. And then what I did is, cause I didn't like it separating, I kind of did a little tie on the bottom to kind of tie them together so they'd stay. As you could see here, I tied these two together. But that was it. I thought it was just a fun little idea to make. And it contains all these great calendar tags. I've been holding on to these for quite a few years. It's nice to finally get to use them in a little book that I'll be able to enjoy. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope I inspired you to make one of your own.